What's up everybody, Tiaram here with Soya Quilting. Today I'm gonna to show you how you make these awesome triple T totes. Let's get started. So to get started, the reason why we call these triple T totes is because it stands for themed travel totes. These ones right here in front of me are themed for Hawaii and today we're gonna to be working on a Mexican themed tote. So as you can see in front of me, I've got my themed fabric and a plain fabric. This plain fabric will represent my lining and our theme fabric will be the outer portion of our bag. You can make these bags any size that you want as long as it's a rectangle. So you can do a five by 10, you could do a 12 by 18. Today though, I'm using a 10 by 12 inch rectangle. So these are 10 by 12 and these are 10 by 12s. And I've got a 22 inch zipper. The zipper just has to be longer than the longest length of your rectangle. We're gonna set one of our linings aside and also one of our outer prints aside. We're gonna take our liner with the right sides facing up. We're gonna take our zipper facing up as well. Facing up means the teeth are facing you and your zipper pulls on top. Then we're gonna take our outer portion of our bag and lay it right sides together. It's super important to make sure we're all square here with our liner and our outer portion of our bag. And now we're going to put a couple pins in it just to secure it, like so. We're going to run down the length of our zipper using just a quarter inch foot, and we'll use the foot just to ride along the zipper to give us a straight line. I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine now. So before I go ahead and sew, something to be super mindful of. We want to start our seam one half of an inch in from the edge of our, our rectangles here. And we also wanna end one half of an inch before the end of our rectangle. So, and I'll show you this. Don't forget to backstitch on all of these seams. And you can't really see what's going on here, but the quarter inch foot is right against my zipper. And I'm stopped one half of an inch before, do my backstitch and cut. This is a crucial part of these totes, but you won't see that till later on. The next step is to open this guy up and fold everything back. So I'm gonna fold everything back. So I'm gonna make sure my top print's laid back and my bottom print is also laid back. The next step is to repeat the process, laying it around what we already have currently. So I'm gonna lay this right sides up, lay this right on top, put my zipper in, and now I'm going to lay down my outer portion of my bag right on top, lining up with the piece that I just laid down, this orange piece underneath. Make sure everything's semi-square here, and we're gonna stick a couple pins through it just to make sure everything's secured. And we're gonna repeat exactly what we just did. We're gonna take it to the sewing machine, one half of an inch in and stop one and a half an inch before the seam. Again, stopping one half an inch before the edge of our material. Do my back stitch. So now, when we open these up, we should have our oranges or whatever our liner is facing each other and the outer portion of our bag as well. And you know what? I just realized something. I did not talk about the stabilizers that I used here on my fabrics. On the outer portion of my bag, I just fused some fusible fleece on it just to give the bag a little bit more body. And on my liner side, I used a really lightweight fusible interface. That could be anything. I use heat and bond, um, their featherweight on this particular project. Um, and I just cut that and fused that before the video, I just realized that I forgot to say that. But moving on, our next step is to sew together our outer portion of our bag. So we're gonna line these up square and we're gonna run a quarter inch seam all the way down. And just pausing here, on this part, we don't need to start, start or stop a half inch before, we're just gonna sew it like a normal seam. But don't forget those back stitches, those are important. So we should have a tube here. On the liner side, what we need to do is, 
is so, but leave around a five inch opening in the center here. This is what we're gonna pull the entire bag through right at the end. And again, on this portion, we do not need to leave that half inch gap. So if we've done everything correctly, we should have a tube here and a tube here connected to our zipper. From here, we're gonna smash everything down so that our seams that we just made line up with our zippers. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna smash it all the way down and get both sides to line up with my zipper, just like so. And then I'm gonna make sure that my bottom lining also lines up with the zipper here. Squish it down real tight, finger press those seams like so. So right now we're gonna enter into the most tricky part of the bag. So what we have to do, I'm gonna show it on this camera above, what we have to do is we have to peel back our outer portion of our bag, our outer fabrics, like so. That's why we left that half inch gap. And now sew all the way down our lining on both sides. So that's why that half inch gap is so important. Something also be super mindful of is if we sew all the way across here in this position that we have it now, our zipper pull will be on the outside of the bag. So we'll have to make sure we tuck that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to our sewing machine and start sewing. I'm gonna sew all the way down. Make sure you do that back stitch. And as you can see, I'm pulling all of this towards the back. That way I don't get caught up in my seam here. I'm using a plastic tooth zipper, so I don't really have to worry about needles breaking or anything like that. I'm just gonna run it right over. Um, and when I get to the other side of the zipper, I'm going to do a back stitch as well. I'm going to repeat this process on the other side and we'll be right back. So I'm gonna put a pause right now in our project just to give you guys a little bit more information. In one of the bags that I've just made, I put in these zipper pull straps on each side. This is an optional feature. I personally don't think you need them, but if you like to do it, now's the time. You just make a little bit of tubing and you'll be stuffing it in between your layers right now and sewing all the way down. That's how we get them inside. But back to the project. So now what we're going to do is pull our lining fabric underneath so we don't get sewn when we're sewing our outer portion of our tote. Something to be mindful of, we are going to have to sew the zipper to our outer lining, which it's a little bit tricky, but we're just gonna try to keep the lining out of the way as much as possible. So I'm gonna turn this over so everyone can see what I'm doing here. And we're gonna sew all the way down the length of this. So this is what we should be looking like. I'm gonna repeat this process on the bottom. Now we're gonna cut off the excess of our zippers here. I just take my scissors, there's the excess there, there's the excess there. From here, we're going to box in all eight of our points. So we have four here, four here, we're gonna box them all. To do that, we're just going to separate the two linings from each other and make this as square as possible. And we're going to sew straight across. On most sewing machines, to the right of the needle, you have different measurements. On my sewing machine, I have an inch and a quarter, and that's where I'm going to be sewing all my seams at, inch and a quarter seam. So I'm going to take this over, and right here, I'm not sure if you can see that, right there's an inch and a quarter. So I'm lining it up, dropping my foot, I'm gonna show everyone one more time. So I've done these two already. I'm gonna do the other six and we'll be right back. So I've boxed out all eight sides. Now we're going to cut the excess of our boxing out. So I'm just gonna cut about a quarter inch away from my seam on all eight sides. Turn it upside down.
Now we're almost to the finish line here. So if you remember, we left that five inch hole in our lining. Now it's the time to turn our bag all the way through. So we're going to start pulling it through the hole. It's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit, but it will go. And here we can do a whip stitch if you'd like to. It's on the inside, so I'm just gonna do a top stitch straight across. Fold in my edges so there's no raw edge showing. I stick a pin through it. I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine and just do a quick top stitch to seal that hole. And this top stitch is right on the edge, like an eighth of an inch or less. Now we're gonna open up our zipper. One more time, we're gonna turn this bag inside out again, so it's a double turn. So we've just finished our Triple T Tote, our theme travel tote. It was such a fun project to make. You can make them literally in less than an hour. If you've liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, share it with all your friends. My name's Yank, I'm teaching how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next week at Sew Quilting. Yeah,